Hey guys, Kated here. Last time I covered the basic movement, forward ghosts, forward correcting and shooting system, so it's time for some mod mechanics that I can use in designing the puzzles. The first mechanics that come to my mind when I think about a puzzle game is a button, a button that you obviously have to stand on, so I made one. As the player can fly freely, it should be a button that works in two dimensions. As I think about it, I should refer to it more like a zone that triggers something when either the ghost boy or the forward is within its range, but I discovered that this can be easily cheated if there are a bunch of ghosts that are following the player, so I made it activated only in two cases. First, when the ghost boy is within range, but second, when the fired ghost enters the zone. When the second happens, the ghost rise in the center of the zone until the player picks him up, placing a button, or in this case, entering a trigger zone, should have some effect. Opening a door is the most obvious one, which is exactly what I implemented. It currently has two modes, which are activation when at least one of the connected triggers is pressed, and activation when all of the connected triggers are pressed. After it was finally done, I needed to make a puzzle mechanics from the abilities that are dependent on the number of ghosts. So I started with pushing mechanics. It's not only about being able to do things when a certain number of ghosts is reached, I wanted it to be more than just a freak in statistics. I wanted it to feel like other ghosts are actually helping. I think I managed to achieve it by making ghosts try into pushed object and actually pushing it with a ghost boy. The object cannot be moved unless that quiet number of ghosts is in its position. Thanks to this, you actually get the feeling that this tiny little ghost that you rescue are meaningful. But there was a problem. When you push an object into a wall, you won't be able to push the objects on the other side. At the beginning I tried to cheat this by adding little bumps like in older games, but it didn't feel quite right, so I just added pulling mechanics. It obviously was associated with adding a grab control, but I wanted to keep pushing mechanics simple, so you have to press a grab button only when you want to pull. Now let's dive into pushed objects. Despite the free movement of the ghosts, movable objects are affected by the force of gravity. I could make them push up in every direction, but I thought that the inability to get them to the higher level when you push them off the edge will make a great mechanic for the puzzle, so I added a second button, this time more classical. Ghosts are not able to activate it, it's considered pressed only when you push an object on top of it. Maybe I will extend it by some waiting system in the future, we'll find out later. So that's it for today, hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. See you again probably in another two weeks.